Hi guys, okay, so I am vlogging right now. I wanted to show you basically what I picked up at Target. So I went to the grocery store, I went to Target, and got a car wash, paid quite a bit for gas. Gas has been insane, hasn't it? Uh, but I figured I'd show you. I gotta put groceries away because, well, no, everything should be fine because it's not too hot today. I figured, Let's do like a little grocery haul or something. And then I wanted to show you what I picked up at Target. Let me put you guys down. Okay, I'm not trying to breastfeed you, I swear. There we go. Also, this, um, oh, sometimes I want a breast reduction, you guys. Uh, <laughs> not sometimes, recently it's been on my mind. Uh, I want to show you this dress. It's from Old Navy. I'll link it. I'm probably good for nothing though right now because... I think it might be sold out. I got it in an extra large, and I'm a size 14, uh, but when I got the extra large, it was too large where it was like too flowy, but now after two washes in hot, it pretty much cinched in a little bit more, uh, but I really love it. So you can wear it like this, or off the shoulder. And people always ask me what bra I'm wearing. I'm just wearing a bandeau, a bandeau. Uh, so yeah, what I get. That's boring. The best ranch ever. The best, what, what is this? The best, I don't even know what I'm getting. Plant-based oat milk, extra creamy. So good for matcha and iced coffees. I love extra cream, I love extra creamy. Uh, sometimes I can't find this in Target though, but found it at my store. <laughs> oh, I got the green beans to film that video for you guys because you guys really wanted me to film that. Cilantro. Why can't you see me? It's like nothing but breastfeeding. Sorry. The green beans, super easy. Gonna make those probably tomorrow. Oh no, not tomorrow, I can't because I have a meeting. Um, I don't know. Sweet yellow onion. I've been, my new kick besides the green beans, asparagus. Except it makes your pea smell so bad, right? One lemon. Can't wait till I finally get lemons on my lemon tree because I can't wait. Uh, three potatoes. I only got three because, okay, I may sound kind of dumb right now, <laughs> but at our grocery store, I only see a full sack, a big old sack, a big kahuna of the golden potatoes. My hair's looking kind of wild. I just waved it with my waver. Uh, so I hate buying that bag because we don't, it's just Glenn and I, and we can only eat so many mashed potatoes, diced potatoes, and like chorizo or, uh, he loves it when I make scallop potatoes, which I can make that recipe too. It's super easy. Uh, so I just picked up three, but my point is that I've never found just single golden potatoes and I feel like an idiot because wouldn't you think, wouldn't you think potatoes are in the potato section because they have the, lo the loose brown russet potatoes. They have the, uh, um, the other sacks of the russet and the golden, just all the potatoes there, the little tiny ones. But I'm, I just think, damn, how come they don't sell just single golden potatoes? It makes zero sense. I found them. It was in the single, like, by the zucchini. It was at the end, though, like, near the kale and chard and, and random stuff and bok choy, uh, which I buy bok choy sometimes from there, not really, but I didn't know, and it was over there. And I feel so stupid because I've been going to that grocery store for maybe two years now, and I'm just realizing they sell single potatoes. So sometimes I'm like, damn, I just want a single potato. <laughs> yeah, well they do, you idiot. But, oh, I thought this was a rotisserie chicken. I'm like, I did not get one, but I saw this handle. Cherries. Produce has been pretty funny. I don't know, has it been like that at your store? I feel like produce has kind of been shitty. Like the grapes, bleh, they look rancid. They look brown, disgusting. I saw the pears, I was like, all right, that's definitely not a top seller because I just see that stuff just disintegrating before my eyes. A little small little lettuce head. I really wanna plant lettuce. FYI, I'm gonna do a gardening video. Because <laughs> of my little old granny. <laughs> and no offense to anybody, you know, don't take anything too seriously, but yes. Black beans because I picked up some pulled pork that is, I don't know if it's sous vide, I think it is. And it was really good and I just put it on Hawaiian sliders. And I just put, okay, I tried to do pickled onions and I did a reel on it and I just deleted that whole entire footage because mine tasted like shit. 
I think I put way too much vinegar. And I love vinegar, but Glenn is kind of uh, on it. And when I tasted it, I was like, whoa, it's even too vinegary for me. It tastes too much like apple cider vinegar because I used a mixture of that with the white, but I didn't have enough white. So I'm gonna use, well, the rest of the pork, I said, I told Glenn, I was like, ooh, I can fry up some tortillas, homemade chips, and make nachos. So this is the cheese I found, nacho cheese from Juanita's, queso para nachos. FYI, I'm horrible because I have not kept up with my Spanish. I did, uh, what did I buy? Rosetta Stone, I bought that program. Uh, yeah, I bought also Duolingo. Pro yeah, I spent like $400 and stuff and I feel very dumb because I was like, I'm so determined and it just didn't happen. But that doesn't mean it still can't. So that's also a goal sometime this year. A little small, little mustard. Because Glenn doesn't really like mustard, but I love mustard. And the other day I made tuna salad. I'm like, I just love it. I love it. This sauce, bomb. Oh wait, let me go back to this cheese sauce. This isn't the one that we like. I like one from Walmart and they used to have it at Target, but they didn't because I looked for it. And it's some, oh, what is it called? I don't know, but it has like a little white cap on it and it's so bomb. It's like that bomb, cheap nacho cheese. You get it like baseball games or whatever type of sports events, concerts, whatever. So good. So I haven't tried this one. Well, no, I think I have and I think it's like, all right, but I didn't want to wait or else I don't want the meat to go bad. This sauce, so good. You guys don't make fun of me because I can't, I can't roll my R's. <laughs> Give me a break, okay? <laughs> Am I gonna attempt it? Con toda, toda confianza. Confi oh, that's so good. At least I'm trying. Conf <laughs> Confianza es herdes taqueria That might be Glenn, hold on. Hi babe, I just got back from Target, the grocery store, getting a car wash so the whip is clean. And also, skirt skirt, got that gas. <laughs> and I'm vlogging right now and I'm trying to say, con toda confianza es herdes taqueria. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, Glenn called me really quick so he can say hello. His work schedule has been absolutely insane and we cannot wait till it's done with this whole project. What was I gonna show you? Oh, also what I wanna film, maybe, I'm not sure because it's nothing like too great, but maybe I'll, I'll, I'll probably do a reel on it. King's Hawaiian hamburger buns. It's so funny because I feel like whenever I'm reaching something at for the top, because I'm 5'9", so I'm pretty tall, and uh, and I will say, I feel like there's just a lot of short people, but maybe, I don't know. I feel like there's just always a lot of short people because I feel like I'm so much taller and bigger than a lot of guys. There's just like a lot of little people, like smaller on the smaller end. Um, you know, your girl's big boom. <laughs> well, Eddie, sorry. But I feel like whenever I reach for something at the top, I could just, feel someone like looking at me like, oh, could she help me? <laughs> so this lady, I looked at her cause she's just staring at me like she wants to ask me, but she's embarrassed. She's, and then, because this was at the top, but it was almost like pushed in. So if you're not tall, you're missing out. Like you're not getting this for sure. Cause it wasn't in like the front aisle because I feel like they always have like a smaller aisle or whatever for um, the King's Hawaiian stuff. And then they also have like in the bread aisle because it's very popular. So she looked at me and I looked at her and I was like, oh, do you want do you want something from the top? And she goes, do they have another one of those? And in my head I was thinking, oh my gosh, I hope so. Because I honestly only saw this and I wasn't about to give her my buns because I already planned out teriyaki chicken hamburgers with grilled pineapple. So I was like, sorry lady, it's on our dinner menu. <laughs> and then I just looked and they had one more. I was like, oh, it's your lucky day. There's one more pack and I got it for her, for her. And she's like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. And that happened at Costco too because someone said, oh, excuse me, can you let me know the price of this? Can you help me? And I was, I just said, and I felt, and I wasn't being rude. I was like, oh, you can't see the price. Like 
I've never heard anybody not to be able to see it. But she goes, no, but there was something blocking it. I go, oh, yeah, they put something here to block it. She goes, yeah. She goes, I need you tall people. <laughs> I was like, it's my duty. It's my duty. At your service. Okay. I put everything. Best sourdough bread ever also. I'm going to make tuna melts. Okay. Uh, I think... Oh, who are you? Oh, she's back there. She's investigating. Okay, so I went to Target. I'm gonna show you what I got, and I'm gonna show you some shoes that I got a couple weeks ago that you guys need. Let me bring you right here, because I feel like there's more space. Figure this out, you guys, and I'm really excited to vlog again. Pineapples. Target had so much pineapple shit, and it was so hard not to buy everything. I wanted this pineapple picnic blanket I, I put it in the car I put it back I, I said yeah I really don't need this because I already have a picnic blanket that's pink and I like more solid colors come here you want to say hi say hi is it isn't she getting big say hi she's like so cute and she's getting along with Ewok and everything I will say she kind of hisses at him but it's funny because she goes goes more towards him I'm a little hot right now I was like rushing and grabbing everything I'm the person where I grab every single grocery bag and I grabbed the Target. I'm wild. Mm. Uh, but yeah, they're getting along great. But going back to Target, they had... It's it's pineapple season, you guys. It's on and popping. Like, there's so much pineapple stuff. And I just would grab stuff, put it in my cart. And I'm just like, no. I'm texting my friend. I'm like, oh, I have to be good. And I'm even being so bad where I'm like, oh my gosh, look how cute. A little condiment, little holder. It was a little white one. It was 12 bucks. Very cute for spring and summer. And we just got matching little baskets to like hold burgers or hot dogs in. I said, oh my gosh, look at this. I said, 12 bucks, do you want one? And then she's like, no, I'm trying to get rid of stuff. I said, oh yeah, I'm gonna put mine back too because I am. I've been trying to get rid of junk we don't need, stuff that has just been here that I don't use whatsoever. It's just, I will admit, I have a huge, I had a huge, I still kind of have a baby addiction, but before I had a huge addiction of just buying something and it's gonna stay in the closet or stay stored away so bad so ugh, like I oh so dumb you know you live and you learn I'm getting rid of a lot of stuff I've donated a lot of stuff um yeah let me give you an example this lamp is very hard for me to part with because it's so damn cute and I honestly don't have any spot to, to put it because a lot of you are probably gonna think oh my gosh it's so you right this pure, yes, we still have a freaking Christmas gift. Eric, come get it. Okay, so, oh, sorry, I'm not trying to flash you, but I'm like down, like, what's up? Okay, so I have this very cute pineapple lamp from Pier 1 that I bought. Very beautiful. Never used it. Feel very stupid. But let me grab all the cute sandals, she's so cute, that I want to show you that I got from Target. Ewok, you okay? Okay, it didn't hit him. I thought he came back. Come here. Are you okay? Did the target bag almost get you? Oh, no. Okay, <laughs> let me show you some sandals that I just got from the room. These slides are so damn cute. I don't know what they're called. I wear a size 10. They are true to size. And I have a wide foot. This one, Carissa. I'll link it down below. This one's pink, and the only reason why I knew this wasn't pink, it's orange, it's a coral. It's a, on camera, I think it looks kind of orangey, but it's definitely like a coral orange. It's more, if you looked at it, it's like a bright tangerine, I guess you can say, but not as orange as it looks. because When you see it, it's like coral, orange, pink. Oh, I don't know, not a lot of pink though. Uh, but I love these, they're only $24.99, and they're very comfortable for wide feet. After a while, I did get one little blister, but it's kind of like, you know, when you break in shoes, but this is pink. And the only reason why I knew this didn't come pink is because I saw it in store and they didn't have my size. Then I was like, oh my gosh, I want a line and I got it. And then I said, they have lilac. So I got lilac, but then I originally wanted the black. So I got black, but what started it all was the taupe. I'm one of those people where you like something in one color and you get it in all the others. That was all I got from that. <laughs> the only color I think was, I think that's all the colors. There might be one more. I'm not sure. Very cute though, and you can't beat it. And then they were 20% off on Target at one point because my friend snagged that deal. I didn't, which sucks because it was like a couple days after I ordered these because I showed her, because I knew she would love these ones. I was like, you need these. 
So yeah, good for a wide foot. Then I just happened to look at more sandals and I got these ones. This one's called the Nicolette and they're raffia. Look how cute, same type of vibe, little slide right there. I thought these were so adorable. I don't know if they're gonna be the most comfortable because raffia is like soft, but I have a feeling this shit's just gonna rip. So we'll have to see. And then I said, we all need a good white toe, white sandal moment, right? So I got these and I will say, these size 10 kind of run a little bit big, which I said, what? That's a first size 10 running big. This one's called the Winnie. So this one comes in other um, sizes, but yeah, I think they're very cute. They run just a little bit big, uh, but still good, still fit, just a smidge. And you need all those shoes because they're so uh, decently priced, $24.99, and they looked they look very nice. And my friend said, you know what I know, notice because we meet all the time for our meetings because if you saw the end of my other video, I'm talking about like, we've been working on this thing for so long. We have something so exciting launching, so freaking nice. But she's noticing catching on because we're seeing each other basically every other day. So that's a lot of hours and a lot of time spent. So you start picking up on people's habits or like how they are or noticing things. Even though we've been friends for so many years, I haven't shown you guys any of those behind the scenes because we don't wanna show anything until we do our little teaser. And we have a lot of stuff we just have to get done. So uh, she said, when you really like something, you always say, oh, this is really nice. Really nice. Like I repeat it and now I notice I do that. Okay, on to Target, more Target. Is this a thumbnail? Is this a thumbnail? Maybe I should, um, Show my sandals, right? Maybe thumbnail, Target, right here. Hi, hi, didn't need anything. Hi, okay. <laughs> so now you can think that when I did the thumbnail. This board has a hilarious story to it. So we went to Target and I started picking different things and filming a reel. And it was so funny because then Glenn, I noticed like he, he doesn't mind whatever I buy, I buy. What It doesn't matter, he's very great. And plus like, it's my own money so I'm buying whatever the heck I wanna buy and he buys whatever the heck he wants to buy. Uh, so then this time I didn't know he was gonna pay for all the Target stuff because I usually just get my own Target because I'm getting like a bunch of random stuff, like a bunch. So he ends up buying tar all my Target and I was laughing, I said, that's why you question that little table because I'm just grabbing so much random stuff and a lot of the things he does like. Uh, but I grab this, I go, oh my gosh, I said, isn't this nice? And he just looked at me, he's like, what is that thing? <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? I said, for decor, he goes, that looks weird. I was like, why? He goes, why is it so long? I said, oh, you know nothing. I said, you don't think I should get it? He goes, no, I don't think that's, he goes, no. He goes, that's just like, you're just grabbing. I'm like, okay, it was meant to be you guys. He talked all that crap. I was like, fine then, I don't want it. Like he talked me out of it type of thing or he just like killed the vibe for the product. But guess what? It was on clearance and it was the last one. So check your targets because I got this on, what day is it today? Today is Wednesday. I mean, just kidding, today is Tuesday, so I'm probably going to upload this video. I have one for tomorrow, which is the video you're gonna see from the last one, which is me talking about all this toxic stuff like and past memories and stories. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm saying everything. Um, yeah, let's not do that to my cute pillow, thank you. <laughs> I just like went like that to her, like, because she likes getting the little beads off of this pillow, and I really like this pillow because my friend got it for me and it's special, and it says, Mrs. When I got engaged. Ooh, now you can't get it. Okay, so he was talking crap about this and I found it and I grabbed it and it was on clearance for 30 bucks. Originally 40. So at least I got $10 off, so it was meant to be. So then I looked it up online. Is this a label? Oh yeah, it's a label. I was thinking it got scratched. Um, and it's really cool because people put plants or decor or also use this to serve food. I won't do that, but I want to decorate it. And then, what else did I pick up? A dog toy for the dog, for Ewok. Here Ewok, here's a toy. I thought this was so cute. Pineapple, <laughs> here. Oh, he got it. Then I picked up only one other pineapple item. It was such a cute little old man helping me at the register. 
and he was wrapping up my pineapple. I go, oh, it's okay. And he goes, oh, no, no. We want to make sure this doesn't break. And I was like, oh, my little $5 jar. And he even wrapped these separately. I was like, how cute. So, ow. So this from, what do they call the, the target spot? It's not hot spot. That's like a hot spot for a dog when they're like biting their butt or something. What is it called? The, it's not the dollar spot anymore. That's for damn sure. Cause I don't, it's like rarely anything is a dollar. Uh, but this is only five bucks. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to put in here. I was thinking of, I like these little steamers, but it is kind of small, but I like these little shower steamers. So I was thinking maybe putting this in the shower or in our bathroom for decoration and putting the little shower steamers in here. Poppy Raspberry Rosé. This is like one of the only prebiotic drinks I truly love. This one was surprisingly good. Even though it has like the rosé, it tastes so good. Uh, my favorite is strawberry lemonade or strawberry lemon. Mm. And then my second favorite is watermelon. Am I recording? Okay, yeah. Then I've been seeing everybody do sponsorships and I have been curious on this and it's the Olipop Strawberry Vanilla. I was gonna pop it open by right now, but I was like, oh. And it's another prebiotic drink, sparkling tonic. Three grams of sugar. For this one, I love these. There's uh, prebiotics, prebiotics for a healthy gut, infused with apple cider vinegar, FYI. Um, ACV makes me want to gag and throw up just the smell of it, so it was very hard trying to attempt those pickled onions. And Immunity Sidekick. It's only 15 calories. It tastes so good. Like you barely taste the apple cider vinegar. There's like a little hint of it, but it's not gross because it's masked by the, by the taste. Hoku, leave him alone, be nice. She likes kind of like taunting him, but then she's like, <sighs> and hissing like he went after her, it's so funny. But yeah, strawberry vanilla, so I wanted to try this one out. This one's 35 calories, so we'll see. It's a little bit more, three grams of sugar, so it probably has good taste, I guess. But this one actually tastes so good, and how many grams of sugar is in this? Oh, four. Oh, it's just less calories, okay. Okay, so we're gonna have to see, cause this is like a tonic, okay, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, is that all? Oh, I wanna try this water. So I picked up the Yuzu Mandarin Sparkling Water. Anything Yuzu is up my alley. I love Yuzu anything. Uh, yuzu is like a citrus fruit, and I don't know if it's a Korean one or Japanese, I'm not sure, but it definitely is an Asian citrus fruit, and I love it. I love Yuzu Lemonade, Yuzu, um, like sauces like ponzu, you know, kind of like that vibe, but um, it's so good. Uh, yuzu uh, margarita, I've had a yuzu martini, very tasty. Wait, there has to be an, hold on. I'm laughing that I'm in this dress, I'm just watching myself. I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty sure I filmed in this dress like five other times. It's just, I call it the my marinated dress, a dress that I love to wear over and over. And what's so funny is I still have an old navy bag that I haven't opened my other dresses for, but like this is the first dress that I absolutely love and I can't stop wearing it. Excuse me, what are, what are you doing? What, what are you doing? Are you in the splits? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to censor you. Hoku, nasty girl. <laughs> Yeah, emo boy. <laughs> he got a little shower today, so his hair always ends up going down. But going back to the dress, I laugh because she's chasing herself. Oh my gosh, I have to show you. Hold on. Let's see if she's going to do it. Of course, when I put it... Oh. Let's see. She was going literally in a circle. No? Don't want to? I laugh because there's this other dress I got from H&M and I got it on clearance. It's like my best find yet. It was $5 and I call it my sisterhood of the traveling dress because that dress has been everywhere. Every single place we have traveled to, it has been Disney World, Thailand, Costa Rica, Maui twice. Like it's been everywhere, you guys. And so Glenn just laughs. Like he just laughs at how I have like this one dress. I said, I think this is going to be the next sisterhood of the traveling dress, you know? Okay. Found the other bag. It was, it was down below because I didn't see it because it almost fell on Ewok. So Glenn loves Legos, you guys. And my honest, like Glenn is just 
oh, I just want him to have his own man cave. Right now he does have the extra room so he has some of his Legos set up, but it's still not everything because he has so many. I want him to eventually have like a full blown man cave. People are, are always asking me, where does he store these Legos? And he puts them in our garage and they're not like set up or anything. They're like he just puts them in our garage and then that's it. Uh, we need to redo the garage too. That's like another next project, but yeah, if you follow along, you'll see what we end up doing because we do have to redo the entire garage completely. And I want him to have his own man cave. Like, honestly, he really deserves it. And I just want him to have his own space. Like, even though he basically has like the homemade back room, but I don't know, like his man cave. I think he deserves it. Okay, so I got him <laughs> Thor, Love of Thunder. And I we were at the Lego st store, Love and Thunder, the other day because we picked up the Cinderella Castle because that's going to end up retiring next year. It's so crazy. The Disneyland Railroad, I forgot how much he said it was. It was like 250 right now it's already like on eBay for sale for 500 that's how much it went up. It's just wild how much Legos really do end up like the investment is real. It's like a Chanel bag like it just went skyrocketing up. Same thing for Legos which no one would ever think of. If you're a man or partner or whoever's into Legos they probably know because lots of Legos that Glenn has put together or he has uh, it's just crazy the amount that what they cost now. So yeah So I ended up getting him this because we we're at the Lego store He's like, oh, I'm gonna get that next because he, he looks forward to like getting them But I was like, oh, I found it there then if you don't know, but I'm pretty sure I talked about this I cut out a lot of sugar you guys. I don't even crave candy anymore. I I I don't have any interest like yeah, I'll probably eat candy somewhere eventually or I'll, I'll crave it but honestly right now i'm not i've stopped ever since lent and i'm very happy it's definitely a mental thing but in case i ever want something sweet i've been trying to find like substitutes so i picked up the sun made fruity raisin snacks they're sour watermelon have you ever seen these i also saw sour strawberry and i said "Ooh, that might be the more safe flavor but Let's be a little risky, right? So I picked this up. Hopefully it doesn't taste like shit because that will really suck. Doesn't it suck when you get a snack and you're like, ugh, tastes like caca. <laughs> okay, so I picked up Good good Vibes, Good Life. 20% off how self-love is the key to unlocking your greatness. And right when I went, um, maybe it was because someone was looking at it, but it went straight to how to deal with negative people because this is definitely a whole thing that I've been dealing with where I'm just realizing, learning, basically breaking out of a shell that I do not need and just rediscovering myself and learning new things and learning how to say no and not giving my energy to people who don't deserve it. I've talked about this quite a bit, but I still wanna go into it because it is just crazy how much my mind and lots of things have basically cleared. And then the second one I found was facing family, choose real friendships, like don't force things, meditate. Oh, that's something I have to work on because I've tried meditation and my mind is someone where I am thinking 24 seven and I worry and I can even make myself stay up until like five in the morning worrying about stuff. Right now I'm pretty good like where it hasn't happened. Well, it did happen just last night, which is probably why I wanted to pick this up. But some people just honestly bring you to that level where it's like, whoa, it's kind of scary. So yeah, study your emotions. I don't know, I just wanted like some really good reads. Um, I have a couple books I'm planning to read and I'm reading one right now. Then I found this really cute tray because yeah, it's cute. <laughs> okay, 100th time of deleting footage. So then in the non-dollar spot, I found these. I think they were five bucks or so. Oh yeah, five bucks, red tag. And these are so cute. So you can take them off the stand if you want, but it's a little fan. And the three is pretty good and I have one where it doesn't necessarily stand up like the most like sturdy. It's like a little perfume fan and I love it. And I use that to do my eyelashes like when I put the glue and stuff. But my friend saw it the other day. She's like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. And she loves blush pink too. So I thought this was so cute. So I got her one. Summertime, you know, sometimes you just need like a little fan or even when you walk. Then I thought this was interesting. Dill pickle cashews. So I do like pickles. I'm not the craziest pickle fiend where it's like I need pickle everything, but I love trying pickled stuff. So dill pickle cashews, thought that was interesting. I'm obsessed with the pickle chips from Trader Joe's. Those are super sour. 
And then they have like a little bit of sweetness to them, but yeah. Okay, that's it, you guys. I was so good. I didn't get the pineapple picnic bl blanket. I didn't get the condiment basket, the pineapple table cover, the pineapple cooler, the pineapple backpack, the pineapple bean bag. It was, what do you call that game when you toss in the hole? Cornhole. They had a pineapple version. I might get that though. I sent a picture to Glenn and he just put LOL and I was like, damn, that's not the reaction I wanted. <laughs> I was waiting for a, oh, cool babe, get it. Or a, oh, do you want it? Or he kind of like, well, hints like, oh yeah, he likes it too. And he just put LOL. I'm like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but I'm just trying to be good, but it's pineapple season. Oh my gosh, I, you guys. I can't buy any more pineapples like that. I have, they're everywhere. I had to actually toss them when I was doing spring cleaning and it made me very sad. I tossed it about seven or eight. Well, not tossed out, I donated. So when I brought them to the freaking Salvation Army uh, uh, truck, I was gonna say, play, to the truck, you did, don't bring it to, but don't, 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 you bring it to the truck. Look, I'm so upset that I had to get rid of them, but I'm sure someone's enjoying my pineapple, but they're probably like, damn, she really likes pineapples. <laughs> Cause I just kept bringing like one and one and he's just putting them in the box like, all right, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> but yeah, that's why that lamp is there because I try to donate it and they don't take lamps and they don't take electronics, I think he said. I don't know, but I was just like, oh, really? I would think someone would wanna buy a lamp. But yeah, okay, I'm gonna get going. That's it, you guys. I just wanted to do like a quick chill video. Do you like this style too? Please give me feedback because I love it. Um, you guys have really been helping me on those last videos, like what kind of feedback, because I love videos like this, I really do. Also, I was thinking, because I still love makeup and to show you new makeup products, I figured I wanna talk about, and I've, I've said this before, but I really wanna do it now, now that my videos are transitioning a little, you know, um, to 90 Day Fiance and Real Housewife shows and stuff like that, or like reality TV shows, or just like random stuff that may be happening. Oh my gosh, I can't believe the whole Johnny Depp case and all that is happening right now. That's like so random, right? Uh, but it's just stuff like that. Okay, and then while I'm doing makeup and telling you if I like the product or not, yeah? So it's not like just, it's like makeup and like girl time, you know, like fun. And that's what I wanted because everybody's like, oh, I felt like I was watching a friend. And you guys, you guys are my friend, honestly. You guys are all my friend all around the world. So don't think like we're not friends, we're friends. Because obviously if you watch me, you like my personality. And so I like you because you like me. <laughs> Okay, um, I'm gonna get going. That's it, and I will see you guys in, in, in. What the heck is end? In the next video, I'm gonna get ready. I have to go to the gym. Yeah, pretty lazy. Won't lie, but it's good for you, right? I danced yesterday because I taught my dance class. I still have my dance class going, and I need to go to the gym. <sighs> okay, guys, I love you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.